and welcome to Fresh and Fruity. This is a program where we teach you and train you more on fruit farming. Today we are in Gatondo North constituency in Kaifere and today we have visited a farm doing pineapple farming. Refreshers a pineapple fruit farm has been able to do good production of pineapple fruits. Here we meet a young farmer, a farmer who has been able to successfully plant pineapple trees and plants and be able to make a production that has been able to make an adverse market change to the consumers. Tag along, I'll be your host Margaret Werimo throughout the show. Hope you learn and enjoy. Pineapples grow well in hot and wet areas because they ripen with the help of sunlight and they require an optimum amount of water to make juice. Here in Kenya, pineapples have proven to grow well in Thika, Malindi and Kisi. They also grow in western parts of Kenya, Kiricho and Nandi where the altitudes range from 100 meters to 1,800 meters above sea level. Today we take you to Gatondo North constituency in Thika, an area known best to produce juicy pineapples in the market. Refreshers Pineapple Farm is owned by a young vibrant farmer known as Peter Kyarie. Peter ventured into pineapple farming back in 2015 when he was still in high school. Peter states that it is from this land section given to him by his father that he decided to farm pineapples as a business activity while on break from school. Starting out from a quarter acre piece of land back then, today he has planted pineapples in a 17 acres piece of land. I started this pineapple farming since 2013 when I was a, a student, secret student at Murudia Boys. Uh, once I nikifunga shude nilikuwa na kuja hapa, babangu wa dukua menipea portion kidogo ya shamba hapa. And that's how I started, akaniambia tu nidime, and then I nikafikiria tu nifanye tu pineapples. Uh, like where we are, we are in a farm, five acres. Uh, that's this is where I started, although I have uh, others. As a young farmer, his mother was very supportive of his farming venture as she would help him in selling of his pineapples at the nearest market in Kamwangi town. With this kind of motivation, Peter became aggressive and focused on planting more for higher produce. He enjoys working on his farm because he knows every four months he will reap fruits of his labor literally. My mom was a adikuwa mtu wa soko, adikuwa nauza vitu kwa soko. So adikuwa nauza, sana sana adikuwa nafanya na pineapples. So adikuwa nanda ananunua kwa wenyewe, ananda kuuza. So I nikafikidia, if nikaeza dima, anaeza kuwa kuchuna hizo, ananda ananiuzia, aniletea pesa when I'm in school. It is enjoying because as you do farming, you are practice. It is like uh, you're doing uh, unafanya practice. So utaenda gym, utaenda gym, utikitoka kwa shamba, utaenda gym. So you combine. It is a, a practice and then unafa, una, unapata pesa. Farming pineapple as an agribusiness venture has been good ride for Peter. He attests that this practice is not as hard as it might seem because its management practices are easy to follow. Pineapples are in a Kazimingi and everywhere in Kenya or in the world, people are being encouraged to consume fruits more than anything else that is being produced in the farm. Mm. Pineapples are tropical fruits that are rich in vitamins, enzymes, and antioxidants. They help boost the immune system, build strong bones, and aid in digestion. Despite their sweetness, pineapples are low in calories. Not only are pineapples delicious, they are also known very easy to grow. As a farmer, all you need is a fertile land with fertile soils, enough spacing for growing, and sufficient water to feed the pineapples. It is a fruit, and being a fruit, in a consumer na watu ingi, kwa hospital diwa tu anambo kudeni fruits, and then hizo zingine ziko na a long way ku process a pineapple kama ama kudima. But in simple, ukianzia tu ni shamba afate shamba and then ukue na, na, na maximum yenye unataka. So hiyo ni kitu ya kwanza, pineapple zaina kazi mingi that is. 
So you, you are acquiring a shamba udime and then when the day. Another thing, in a pesa, here yeah, in a competition, uh, it does not have a control, out a control to a market. So we will join Tadima and then Tenda Kuza. Uh, like Majani, I'm a coffee. Lazima upereka kwa factory, uambi utanundua na ebay. But being a farm of pineapples, uwe nwe unamua, ntauze hivi, na ntaenda kuuza maadifrani. Yeah. There are several hundred varieties of pineapple in existence, but most common varieties produced by Kenyan farmers are the Smooth Cayenne, MD2, and Sweet 16. The most planted variety is the smooth cayenne, accounting for 80% of the total pineapple produced. Though currently there are efforts to move to MD2 variety due to its superior nutritional qualities. At Refreshers Pineapple Farm, Peter has grown a massive number of the smooth cayenne variety and a few of the MD2 variety. The smooth cayenne variety is a spineless pineapple cultivator that boosts sugary, low-fiber flesh and stripped leaves. Peter chose to do smooth cayenne because it is sweet and juicy with no turpentine sour taste which makes it easy to sell. Pineapple varieties that are in this area, they are two. We have smooth cutting and then we have MD2. Uh, but giant, giant MD2, but here we, I have smooth cardin as, as you can see, they are smooth. All of them are smooth but few varieties because of teaching I have a uh, giant. Kinyeni nifanya ni chagwe smooth, it is sweet. And then mtu wakena kununua a certain fruit and angadanga sweet. So hata ukue na kubu and see sweet hata nunua. So I decided to do smooth cardin and then na hita nisumbua nikikuja wafanya kazi. Juu ingine ita ina kudungo ukienda kushika, but this one, as you can see, ukishika, iko tu sao, ita kudunga, and then it is sweet. Pineapples are cultivated in trenches. The land is prepared for planting by plowing and digging, followed by leveling. Depending on the nature of the land trenches of suitable length about 90 centimeters width and 15 to 30 centimeters depth are prepared. Uh, maximum of one acre uh, kwenda juu. Zikuwe as many but wezi kuja kudima prot. Prot haita kupea pesa mibini yako ya kukuda tu. But an acre, it's good. And then a fertile dad wangadie temperature, condition of the weather condition ya yeah, that area. Wezi kufanya farming. Successful pineapple farming depends on selecting a fertile land with fertile soils choosing good suckers for planting and a good organic manure. As for Peter, his secret behind quality produce is through the use of pure organic manure from animal refuse. As a farmer, he rarely uses inorganic manure. Therefore, he makes his own organic manure which has the required nutrients. So, a good produce, Ukwe na shamba, hiyo shamba ukwe fatted. Another thing, uchagwe sakats, sakats yako. But, yenye sasa mi ni, ni dianzia uku, even uh, being unique, ni dianzia kufanya organic farming. Uh, ni dianzia ni kasoma vitu sa kufanya organic, koza uh, venye nimesema wakati nilitoka shude, ni dianzia kufunza high school. And then wakati nilikuwa nafunza high school, uh, nilikuwa nafunza biology and agriculture. So, my lineage, ikaendelea tukukua agricultural. So, Ukikuwa na shamba ikuwe fertile na easy seeds, but organic is the way because you'd be unique. Uh, that's how you'd succeed. Then ukizikuwa organic, sitakuwa kubwa kama hii, an example of this one. So you'd come up with a, a good size and it would be good in, a, in the market. Pineapples can be grown in any type of soil which has free draining capacity. However, for optimum production, a soil with a pH ranging from 5.5 to 6 is considered as the best soil for pineapple. It should have a good drainage and a light soil texture. Here in Kenya, pineapple grow well in red clay soils, black soils, loam soils, and well-mixed sandy soils. 
Peter's farm has red clay soil which he attests it is good for pineapple farming. But he says without proper application of pure organic manure, then the fruits will not mature to good quality size. The best soil is this red soil. And then the red, being a, a, red, a pure red soil, manure is sana sana. Ata kama si fatted, you know there is a way of kuongeza manure in the shamba. So you can have a land, it is not fatted, but you come up and introduce manure. Uh, lakini si fertilizer manure we talking of farmyard manure or organic pineapples azitakangi ph kuwe very high uh, na ikikuwa very high pineapple kitu ya kwanza uta note the soil mario fruit ilichunwa the ph is very high utaangalia na taste itakuwa kadi and kitu yenye sana sana inafanyanga ph kuwe juu ni fertilizer because of some chemicals so ph itakuwa juu uh, but uh, pH ya pineapple sinafaa kuwa chini uh, ifai kuwa high nafaa kuwa low Unlike in other plants where seeds or seedling are planted pineapples are grown from suckers which are usually shoots from the mother plant Pineapple have three types of planting materials these are the suckers the slips and the crown out of the three, the most recommended is the suckers because they assist in quick maturity and growth of the crop. When we're talking of planting material, we have three types of planting material. We have the suckers, we have the crown. Na tukona ide ngine, apart from maru tatoa suckers, kuna ide na baki. So ide mapema. So we have three types of uh, uh, planting material. But the one which is recommended and you earn as much as possible, it is suckers. Because when you use crown, it will take more time, like two years. This one, it is 18 months. Yeah, so when you compare and you're doing business, you do not do it for just for planting, it is for business, you're going to use uh, suckers. Uh, when you introduce new suckers in the farm, they are going to take after uh, one year and six months, you're going to start harvesting. That harvesting will continue up to seven years. Then after seven years, you're going to introduce another, another plant in that farm. So that's how you're going to change the, your, your suckers. Yeah. After oh. seven years, you introduce another one. Pineapple takes 18 months to flower from the suckers while planting using the slips takes 20 to 24 months to flower. It is therefore advisable to plant pineapples from suckers to ensure to get your first harvest at the first fruiting period of December and March. So you have to plan earlier, Ntapanda next year, so you have a plan, utatafta manure, utatafta suckers, zikuwe ready. So once you could you, you plant spacing is 30 centimeters to 45 centimeters or 60 depending on the fertility of the land. Then from there you introduce the, the planting manure, a uh, planting material that is uh, suckers. After planting, you're going to plow after every three months you have to weed because there is going to, uh, to be a weed until you reach the time of harvesting. That is one year and six months. Commended time or the best time to plant is March because you're going to target the rain. And then after planting, in Anyeshewa, so it akua araka. Instead of planting your uh, plant January or February, it achomeka sana hapo na jua. Then the kukinyesha, aitaheza kumia vizuri. In a pot, inataka a, a very fertile plant. So the good or recommended farm is a virgin land. So when you're going to do a rotation, as you have said, there are some other plants which, which you're going to use a uh, fertilizer. Once you do rotation, and then you plant uh, pineapples where you have used uh, fertilizer, it is going to affect your production. So it is not recommended to you to do uh, rotation in pineapples. Weeding is especially important from the economic point for any cultivation. Nutgrass and hariali are the most common type of weeds in pineapple farms. 
pineapples are being affected by weed and kitu yenye ina affect sana sana pineapples apart from pests or diseases ni weed as you can see hakuna hata miti hakuna i have tried to minimize them because uh, pineapple ikikuja ikuwe na kitu hapa juu ifunike hivi uh, inaendedanga tu kukua but production is very low and then itakuwa kadi juu ya jua inatakanga jua so ukiweka hii kitu ya weed ikikuja juu uh, huu ina effect so after every months huwa tunakuja tunaitoa as you can as you can see kuna weed but sasa hii hatuwezi toa kama haijafika time after every three months that's when tunakujanga inapadidiwa lazima uangalie input na output so ukiweka input mingi hapa is an, in, in, an investment so ukiweka input mingi unadimia una every week every week every week na unadipa and then there is no production unaona hakuna biashara unafanya so you have to lazima uangalie hii nimetoa hii nataka kurudisha hii ndio nipate hii pesa where there is adequate rainfall one does not require to water the plants regularly but where there is less rainfall pineapple farmers should practice irrigation on the pineapples or use paper mulch process to be able to store water for the pineapple plant when you plant like in this area you don't have to water because there is adequate rainfall so you will not have to water but if you ukipanda mali kuna jua utaenda hapo utamwagilia maji but sana sana wakati nimeanzia kutoa crown hiyo ndio wakati tutaanza ku water because ukiangalia pineapple content yake mingi ni maji so it will need adequate water one plant uh, you should water uh, depending the weather condition if let say that is uh, it is dry so you going to water your fruit have a liter per day Pineapple are hardy fruits but they are affected with pests such as nematodes, mites and molds. Some of the diseases that affect the pineapple fruits are the Phytophthora root rot, yellow spot and mealy bug will rot. Inside Peter's farm, these pests and diseases are evident and he explains how he limits them. So when you talk of pest and diseases we have porcupine we have mold we have birds because ikiiva sana hivi bird ndo kujanga inaanza ku kudunga hapa na inaingia ndani inaanza hizo sasa hiyo uta utauza so that, those are the some of pests and then we talk, when we talk of diseases we have nematode we have another one which we call tyenia spp that is mudigidu the sign of uh, that tyenia spp is being yellow as you can see here it apart from these uh, we have yellow so you're going to know that this one is being affected by a certain disease and that is Tyenia spp when you're talking of controlling of pests we start there uh, as the kind of amur you're going to trap it or we use chemicals uh, porcupine pier you're going to use a trap but uh, even birds we're going to use a scarecrow to scare them away a nematode is a soilborne disease na sana sana inaletwa na hizi siafu so you going to control the the siafu na control kwa shamba yako being unaweka dawa huko sides but hapa si sana and then hiyo nyingine ni tiny spp you going to pluck them away and then uh, unaiacha hapo inachomwa na jua hiyo uh, tiny spp alafu tena unakuja unaweka farmyard manure he introduce another circus there. Wow, Peter, that is a very inspiring story. Being a young farmer doing pineapple farming with such successful production, that is great. Now imagine me as a fruit farmer. This is how I test if the pineapple fruit is ready in the market. I pluck a leaf on top of the crown. Is that how to test that a pineapple farmer is a uh, pineapple is ready? It's okay. Although this is the weakest part of the pineapple so even even if you use it, you are going to use it as a kuangalia kama iko ripe ya sisi sema iko sawa but most of people normally use it so i can't sisi kuzuia kutumia hiyo <laughs> wow that is real so you as a pineapple eater out there please don't test like this it's unhealthy therefore you won't know if the fruit is ripe or unripe 
We hope you're learning from us here at Fresh and Fruity at Refreshers Pineapple Farm in Gatondo North. And we are taking a short commercial break. But don't go away. When we come back, we will tour Peter's farm. And from this farm, it is where you will learn how uh, pineapple fruits grow. You will see the shoots. You will see the pineapples from a young age till the harvesting stage. Please don't go away. Stay tuned to Fresh and Fruity.